Hey, what up y'all? Nurse David here, coming at you from my new den, which is currently being set up. So there's a little bit of emptiness in here, but it has been a year since I have left the bedside and joined the field, the world of nursing informatics. And I kind of just want to talk to you guys about what I've gone through and my experience with leaving the bedside to where I am now. This is going to be more of a factual type video. I kind of want to avoid the storytelling of my own feelings and everything. So it's pretty much going to be if you're interested on what it's like leaving the bedside and getting into a nursing informatics role. I will be filming another video soon on where I've been and what I've been up to because I haven't been posting as much lately, but I really want to keep this as factual as I can and informative to those who are wanting to get into the world of nursing informatics just because I have so many of you reach out to me on Instagram still from my previous videos. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump straight into that. I was at the bedside as a nurse for six years on neurotelemetry. I graduated with my master's in science of nursing with an emphasis in health informatics. It took me about not it took me about one year of interviewing in order to get my first job, which was an analyst position for the electronic health record of Cerner at a Cern hospital here in Phoenix, Arizona. So I probably went through maybe nine to 10 different interviews with different people trying to get into this field. And I feel like that was the hardest part was going from the bedside and being able to obtain a position in this field, having no experience. Now, on my resume, I definitely beefed it up with my super user activities, with my uh, leadership type roles and responsibilities on my unit. But even then, uh, the main thing that I got was that they wanted someone or they went with someone with more experience. And I even missed out on a job at the place that I had worked for for six years and at the place I did my 200 clinical, my 200 hours for schooling at, they did not hire me because they went with someone with a little bit more experience. So that was pretty kind of devastating, you know? I had been with this company for a long time now and my hope was to get a position with them because I know exactly how their hospital worked. I was an expert on inpatient workflow and to finally get that interview probably I was at eight months at this point um, to finally get that interview and then I believe I went through a second interview as well but to be told that they went with someone with more experience was just like dang I can't even get a job at a place that I worked at and at a place where I did 200 hours with your team at so how am I ever gonna get into this field so my first job was in analyst position uh, what did, what did they call it exactly? Clinical support analyst. So this was not necessarily an informatics title. It was a step below that, but it was a step into this field that I needed in order to get that experience on my resume. So when I went from bedside nursing to this analyst position where I worked at for six months, I, it was more of a lateral type move. There wasn't an increase in my pay. And this was one of the hardest things to accept was, hey, I'm starting at the bottom again, where I was at the top at the bedside being a CNA and then a nurse with my masters and taking on new grads and even teaching, um, teaching clinicals with nursing students. I was at the top of my game there, here I'm at the bottom. And I feel like that's a hard pill to swallow is like, hey, you may have been the best on your unit, but you're just starting off here. So you're not getting a pay raise. And if anything, this schedule is not going to be the most ideal. But keeping in mind that, hey, this was just a stepping stone in where I wanted to be, I took the job and I worked for there for six months. So as a clinical support analyst, 
I was more at the elbow support at this organization. And I know analyst positions vary depending on what organization you are at. The place where I was a nurse, I don't believe we exactly had analyst positions. Um, the place where I'm at now as a clinical informaticist, we do have analyst positions, but they operate very differently. But at this organization I was, I was at the elbow support, meaning if you called the help desk and they weren't able to fix the problem that was going on, then they could shoot the ticket over to my team. And if I was covering that facility or those departments, I would be responsible for walking over and seeing if I could figure it out. That's the main gist of what I was doing as a clinical support analyst. And again, this was a stepping stone. Quintessential, I was IT. I, and that's not exactly what nursing informaticists sign up to do. We don't sign up to go check out if a printer is broken or to check out if a mouse or a keyboard need to be replaced. We're wanting to be more in this position of being able to make recommendations and help improve charting for healthcare workers. So the job at first was a little difficult just because I feel like I was thrown into it and I had not worked with their version of Cerner before. I had worked with Cerner, which is my electronic health record, but I had not worked with their version of Cerner. And getting even deeper into that, I had not worked with troubleshooting these types of aspects. So it was stressful at first, and working the five days a week was definitely very, it was a hard adjustment, especially because I had a, 40, a 30 to 45 minute commute. So you factor in, I need to be there at 8 o'clock. I need to leave my house at 7.20. So I need to be up at 6.30 so I can wake up, eat breakfast, get ready, leave the house, be there by 8. I was there till 4.30, have another 40 minute drive. I wouldn't get home till after 5. So it was a big adjustment and there were no opportunities for this at the elbow support analyst to be remote at all. One of the major takeaways though is that I gained a lot of knowledge, the process of IT, of informatics, of what it takes to go and see the providers where I was just a bedside nurse before. I had not directly worked with providers in this type of situation yet. So I was trying to take it all in for what it was. I did not only troubleshoot items, sometimes I would go address, address providers who were having difficulty with their charting. And so I'd help them improve their efficiency. I would also do a lot of teaching with Dragon, which is that voice to text, um, voice to text microphone that you'll see them using. So I did a lot of that. And I ended up really liking my team. And six months in, I was feeling pretty confident and pretty involved. But then an opportunity came, and these opportunities do not come very often at a different organization, but it was a step up. Now, I was not planning on leaving my analyst position for a year or two, because I thought that would look great on my resume. I did not expect an opportunity like this to come around, but it was something that I really couldn't pass up. So I saw the position online and I applied immediately because this is a hospital that I had applied for before when I had no experience, but now I'm going into it with my six months of experience. I ended up getting the job, which was, it was exciting. It was scary though, because I had just left bedside and it got into this role with this hos this different hospital. Now I'm going into a different hospital. So I just feel like I was a bit overwhelmed, but it was a, quite a bit of money increase. It was a large pay increase where I had not got a pay increase from my other transition that I did. So that was a big driving factor because yeah, I was happy eventually where I was, but I feel like, you know, I can do it again. I need to stay adaptable in this field and I need to stay open. And especially knowing what I know on how difficult it is to get in. Now I'm going to be able to say that I have clinical informatics experience 
on my resume. So I put my two weeks in and now I'm in this job where it is remote. And I feel like that has been one of the most difficult parts for me. But in my clinical informatics role, I am five days a week, Monday through Friday, with paid holidays off. I am working mainly remote. There is rarely occasions where I do go in for meetings, but I'm not so much that first line of defense where a nurse or a provider is calling IT and then I'm running over to fix the problem. We have that at this hospital and that is not me. I am more, a little bit more behind the scenes now where I'm helping influence the way and determine the workflows of how nurses and providers document. And it feels cool that I'm finally in this position where I've worked so long to be in. And I don't know if it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's definitely more relaxed and less chaotic than my previous two jobs. But so far, it's going pretty well. And just a little insight on how rare this position is, I'm on a team of five. Again, I'm trying to stay as factual as I can, so I don't really want to give you a whole lot of my feelings. I kind of want to let you know about this role as a whole. Um, so we'll skip on how I'm doing working remotely, but I will just say that it has taken some adjustment because working remotely for myself well, was never exactly the plan so it definitely does take some adjustment if going from being in people's faces especially when you're monday through friday like my previous job to now completely behind the scenes but i will say that i feel as though i have a larger voice and i play a larger part when it comes to making these changes. Now looking back at the past year of having left the bedside and coming into this role, it really is crazy at how fast it has gone by. I feel like I just started and I still feel fresh and I feel like getting acquainted in this position just because we're doing so many different things and we're not really doing the same thing very often it's going to take a while for me to really feel comfortable and confident but everyone in this field from the three organizations that i've had experience with everyone in this field is super understanding they're a little bit more laid back and it's just a whole different vibe and that's pretty much my experience of having left the bedside, getting into my first position, quickly jumping out of it, getting into a new position where I feel I could be here for a while and really trying to take in everything I can. You just got to be go with the flow. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I will be posting another video on kind of how I'm feeling about YouTube and where I've been in that. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.